Okay, here's our math lesson video. I'm gonna go into our quick quiz. So it's called 6.5 Math Quick Quiz. So when I open this up, you're gonna see that these questions are very different than the last um, than the last unit was. Or the last, just not, last unit, last four were. We've had very similar very four. These ones now are gonna be very different. Question number one says, I'm going on vacation for two weeks and five days. Which equation can be used to find the number of days I'll be spending at camp? Explain how you know. So is it A, 2 plus 7 plus 5 equals M, B, 2 times 7 times 5 equals M, C, 2 times 7 plus 5 equals M, or D, 2 times 5 plus 5 equals M. And then you can use the sentence starter to help. It is letter A, because Y. It is letter B, comma, because Y, C, or D, whatever. So, um, now for this question, it said two weeks. I'm just going to do this. Let's say I was going on vacation for one week and three days. Well, this is a hidden number problem. Right here, it just says one week. Sometimes some people might think, well, it's one plus four equals four days. Well, that doesn't work because one week is not one day. I have to remember that, oh yeah, that's right. One week equals, ooh, equals seven days. So that if it's one week, and three days, well, then I have to do not one plus four, or, and I did four right there by accident. That's very confusing. I meant to do three. I was already thinking about the answer. One plus three equals four days. Well, really, it's one week and three days. So it's going to be seven plus three. So not one plus three, because one week isn't just one day. It really is seven days. So really, seven plus three equals ten days. So I would be gone for 10 days. Now your quiz question is a little bit different because it's two weeks, not one week. And then down here, you have to find which equation actually works for that. How would you, what equation would you use to solve that problem? And like for me, my full equation for this would be, so one week and three days. Well, I would do one times seven because it's one week. And in one week, you have seven days plus three. And I know that one plus seven is seven plus three more, and that's how I get my 10 days. Okay, number two, solve for j. So I have this equation here, five times seven minus j equals 30. So I'm gonna show you a different example of a problem. Let's say I'm going to do um, two times four uh, plus m equals 12. Okay, well, the first thing I have to do is I have to solve for m. I can't do anything until I figure out what that equals. Well, what I'm going to do, for my first step then is going to be two, 2 times 4. Well, I know that 2 times 4 equals 8. Now it's going to be 8 plus m equals 12. Now all I have to do is figure out, okay, what would go in that m spot? Well, I know that 8 plus 4 equals 12. So my final equation then is m equals 4. And that's the steps you're going to use, and you're trying to figure out what J is going to be. Figure out what part you're going to do first so you can get to J. And you might even have a totally different strategy than that. Use whatever you what, use whatever is best for you to figure out what J is. And then question number three says, Inez had $14. She spent $6 on a movie ticket. Then her father gave her $4 allowance. How much money does Inez have now? What's the two-step problem? Um... My last step question is this. How much money does an Inez have now? Okay, but I need to figure out something first. So this always goes to what's my first step question? Well, for this one, I need to think what money, what, what, I can just think, you know, what parts do I want to use first? Am I going to use the Inez had $14? Do I want to use the, she spent $6 on a movie ticket? Do I want to use then her father, gave, the father gave her $4 allowance? You need to think, okay, what do I do first? After you do the first part, then you do the second step, so you can answer how much does she have now. Um, use notability, explain everything, paper and pencil to do your work, whatever you need to, but have fun. Bye.